Jeroboam rebels against Solomon. Also, Jeroboam, son of Nebat, rebelled against the king. He was one of Solomon's officials, an Ephraimite from Zeradah, and his mother was a widow named Zerah. Now, again, this is the Old Testament and a lot of these names. If you do know the correct pronunciation, please uh, read along with us and say them correctly. Um, if you know how to type them out in the comment section, please do so. <laughs> and thank you very much. Here is the account of how he rebelled against the king. Solomon had built the supporting terraces and had filled in the gap in the wall of the city of David, his father. Now Jeroboam was a man of standing, and when Solomon saw how well the young man did his work, he put him in charge of the whole labor force of the house of Joseph. About that time, Jeroboam was going out of Jerusalem, and Ahijah, the prophet of Shiloh, met him on the way, wearing a new cloak. The two, men, the two of them were alone out in the country, and Ahijah took hold of the new cloak he was wearing and tore it into twelve pieces. Then he said to Jeroboam, Take ten pieces for yourself, for this is what the Lord, the God of Israel, says. See, I am going to tear the kingdom out of Solomon's hand and give you ten tribes. But for the sake of my servant David and the city of Jerusalem, which I have chosen out of all the tribes of Israel, he will have one tribe. I will do this because they have forsaken me and worshipped Ashtaroth, the goddess of the Sidonians, Chemosh, the god of the Moabites, and Molech, the god of the Ammonites and have not walked in my ways, nor done what is right in my eyes, nor kept my statutes and laws as David Solomon's father did. But I will not take the whole kingdom of out of Solomon's hand. I have made him ruler all the days of his life for the sake of David my servant, whom I chosen and who, I, and who observed my commands and statutes. I will take the kingdom from his son's hands and give you ten tribes. I will give one tribe to his son so that David, my servant, may always have a lamp before me in Jerusalem, the city where I chose to put my name. However, as for you, I will take you and you will rule over all that your heart desires. You will be king over Israel if you do whatever I command you and walk in my ways and do what is right in my eyes by keeping my statutes and commands as uh, David, my servant, did, I will be with you. I will build you a dynasty as enduring as the one I built for David and will give Israel to you. I will humble David's descendants because of this, but not forever. Solomon's, or Solomon tried to kill Jeroboam, but Jeroboam fled to Egypt to Shishak, the king, and stayed there until Solomon's uh, death. So what has happened is Jeroboam has been told uh, that prophecy that uh, Solomon has already been told. And so Jeroboam is going to be play a role in Israel. He's going to become a ruler in Israel um, when, uh, not during Solomon's life though, but because Solomon uh, was worshiping other gods. So this is part of Solomon's consequence and what's going to happen. And it also can also tell us what's going on with his children too. Remember, the Lord was saying, for you to follow my commands, so and uh, my statutes and my commands and and the law, and that also shows us that the children were, were, were may have not been following the laws or commands because children also observe um, what may observe what their parents do and take after, you know, and so that's another thing that we can learn past or present is that a true thing that can happen, yes. Uh, children do learn. They learn in school. They learn in the community. They learn in, uh, in different areas of their life, but they also learn from parents. They also learn from parents, grandparents, etc., from aunts and uncles and and and, um, and their brothers and sisters. They also le learn from the, the family. And so that also is with us too, the family of Christ. We also learn from each other. And so we have to also pray and make sure um, that we are in good counsel with one another, right? Um, to make sure that we're not led astray, each and every one of us. So there's a lot here. Once again, there's sermon upon sermon. What kind of thoughts or feelings come to your mind? How does it make you feel? And what does it make you think? 